Volcanic ash is the hazard that affects the largest area in a volcanic eruption. Explosive eruptions can propel millions of tons of volcanic ash high into the atmosphere. Eventually that volcanic ash falls out of the atmosphere and rains back down to earth, potentially thousands of miles away from the volcano. Because volcanic ash contains very small dust and powder sized grains and is composed of small pieces of glass, if inhaled, volcanic ash can be devastating to the respiratory system of any people or animals in the affected area. Volcanic ash can also impact infrastructure over huge areas. When ash settles onto high voltage lines and key portions of the electrical grid, it can cause power outages over entire regions. Volcanic ash fallout can also contaminate drinking water. Anyone that might want to evacuate might have trouble doing so if volcanic ash covers road surfaces making them difficult for many vehicles and restricting visibility on roadways. Volcanic eruptions can also shut down air travel. If volcanic ash is sucked into aircraft engines, even in small amounts, it can destroy the engines, potentially in flight. Thick ash clouds can also shut down telecommunications networks, hindering any sort of volcanic emergency response by isolating those stuck in the area from those on the outside looking to help. Volcanic ashfall can also cause massive failures in agriculture by covering and damaging plants, potentially impacting the global food supply chain. Some volcanic ash clouds are so massive they block out the sun, creating a global cooling effect. In 1816, the eruption of Mount Tambora in Indonesia caused global cooling. It snowed in New York in June of that year and caused massive crop failures throughout North America, even from an eruption on the other side of the world.